The Blast of Ikorodu School's Invitation Cricket Festival is a one-of-its-kind event in Ikorodu Division, with eight schools participating in the competition. The aim of the festival is to discover and nurture budding talents among the participating students. program has come on time to educate the students of Ikorodu on now to play cricket. Those ones that have not been coming to school regularly from some of our schools, especially Ikorodu, eh, Majidun and Ipakodo, they are now coming to school because of this cricket. It has helped in the area of eh, making students to come to school early and to participate in the cricket game. The, the advice I have for the cricketer is to keep it up so that uh, their talents will be well developed. According to the organizers, with the support of the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education, the organization has been able to coach these young cricketers to develop their critical thinking skills and other character building skills. We've worked tirelessly day and night with these cricketers, these school cricketers. Um, not just coaching cricket though, we've been able to bring in partners to do uh, co-curricular uh, activities as well. So it's character building, such as critical thinking um, and many other character building programs we've had. We've had help with the CPP, the Crime Prevention Partnership as well. So classroom-based sessions combined with cricket training. So there are people out there that believe that cricket, playing cricket, will in, like stop your education. If anything, it enhances education. Principals from these schools have all said that their students have raised the level of their attainment. So I also worked as an attainment officer in the UK and we found that sports and education, working hand in hand, gave children, young people, the 360 approach. So yeah, I can say that it's been beneficial in that sense. Of course, on the weekends, they're engaged in sports. They're not on the streets, they're not idle walking the streets. And they have to be disciplined. Timekeeping, attendance, accountability, responsibility, self-discipline, cleansiness, uh, hygiene. All these things are so important. Not just as a cricketer, but for as a young person. It's a very good initiative because uh, Apart from keeping some of the students that are not so busy, that uh, really need to exercise their body, is really keeping them organized and also keeping them attuned to the game. Well, to the students participating, I just want them to know that this game is a very good game and it can take them to anywhere they want to go to. That they should uh, try as much as possible to cooperate with the organizers and those that are training them. But if they can be focused, they take it to a very high level. Just as the footballers are doing, they too can be also uh, profit from that. And apart from that, they gain a lot from it. The youths have another thing to occupy their mind. Instead of thinking how to join this court group and the rest of it, now they have a way to think about. Outside the academic session, then sport is another thing. Actually, it is one of the pillars of the prevent structure of the crime prevention partnership. Using sports as a bait to lure these children into the right path instead of joining the court groups or Yahoo Yahoo, as you can see here. Participants share their experience at the festival. It's been an exciting adventure because overall it's been an adventure seeing young people and not just anyhow young people future stars because today showed that with the right training and uh, the right infrastructures in place that surely Nigeria is able to provide some world-class players. I'm a sports woman because I used to do swimming, table tennis, football, any sport because I like sports. This is my two years in cricket. 
and I've gone to Ibado to represent Lagos State and go to Abuja to represent Chikudo and I get most promising player. 250 cricketers participated in the festival.